Okay, so I just wanted to make this video more interesting, so I'm just recording this part. Um, uh, da da ba da. Hey, what's up, you buttercups? It's a moi. I'm back. So, as you can probably hear, um, um, the thing I'm doing right now is I'm using my phone to properly record videos. Uh, if the audio sounds bad, I'm uh, terribly sorry, but you gotta bear with me because I did, did, I'm getting new things. Anyway, so today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my non-existent upload schedule, or at least what I've been trying to make as an upload schedule. So anyway, let's get into it. So, um, if you haven't seen, uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're probably bored right now, so let me just put gameplay on the background. Boom, there you go. Um, okay, bear with me, it's really crappy, but again, I'm getting a new computer this September. So you gotta bear with me, all right? Good. All right, so, um, what was I gonna say? Right, so the, for my, as you may have noticed, um, I've been uploading almost every three days to every four days for the last couple of weeks. Um, I'm just gonna tell you right now that this is gonna go right out the window, so um, Bye, okay. Yeah, so Let me explain So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is The three reasons why like I i my upload schedule is gonna go even worse than it already is And the second thing I'm gonna talk about is what like what the process I go through whenever I edit my videos or whenever I make my videos I'm gonna go through the process of that so let's begin. Excuse number one is the simplest excuse that everyone uses is quality over quantity. I know for a fact that almost every tutorial on YouTube tells you quantity over quality for the small guys. You know, just get a bearing of how many viewers you get. Honestly, at this point, I know for a fact that I'm not going to be big on YouTube. I've understood that. I've been doing YouTube for at least four years now. I completely understand if I'm not gonna go big. If YouTube is not for everyone, then um, yeah, it's probably not that great for me either. Anyway, again, so I'm just gonna switch over to quality instead of quantity, so videos may become, like, you know, take longer to upload. Uh, second thing is the fact that, um, like I mentioned, what did I mention? Right, so second reason is honestly because of my computer. As you probably already know from all the videos you've seen so far, I have a bad, like really bad computer. And as I mentioned, I'm getting a new one this upcoming September. But then again, I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. So it all depends on my dad. So yeah, number two is the excuse of I have a crappy computer. Number three is the fact that I got accepted to college. As you probably don't know, or may know, I recently got accepted to college for a computer program, meaning I'm gonna be stepping on my programming game a lot. May I know for a fact that upcoming this upcoming sum uh, summer, I'm gonna be doing way more programming, and as soon as college <coughs> and as soon as college starts, it's gonna be programming probably nonstop. So fun time, and it's gonna make. Like me uploading videos a bit, tiny bit harder, but you guys gotta bear with me. Please bear with me. Please subscribe. Um, yeah, so now with that said, let's move on over to my, you know, how I go through the process of editing my videos or creating my videos. So the first step I go to is actually writing down and creating a timeline of my timeline that it will look in my editor. Yeah, so. Actually, you know what? Explaining this hard. Let me just show you. So, for example, the lowest it could be is something like this. Like this video right here. This is this thing you're seeing on the screen is actually the one for this video. The lowest it can possibly get. And after that would be like a medium scale. Medium scale would look something like this. There's a lot more text on the screen, or a lot more words, mainly because I'm adding more effects and adding more stuff. And the highest it can go is something like this. As you can probably guesses it's a mumble and jumble of words so yeah a lot more work but the outcome is fine yeah okay um so yeah so that's step number one this usually takes about 
30 to 40 minutes, an hour tops, not that big. Then moving on to step two, which is actually collecting the clips. Like this, depending on if I have the clips or not, it usually takes about 10 minutes. If I don't have the clips, it takes about like 30 minutes, half an hour, something like that. Not a lot of time, but you know what I mean. I get what I get and I don't get it. But I get the clips, 30 minutes, I'm done. And then that's basically step two. Step three. Oh, wait, hold on. Before I do step three. If you're just wondering, these are right now that you're uh, seeing on the screen are all the things I have right now. A lot of sound effects, barely any transitions, barely any green screens, barely any green top things. But yeah, it's basically what I have. And then finally is uh, step three, which is basically actually editing the thing. Now, usually actually editing it, um, when it comes to putting clips together, like actually finding the best parts of the clips that are, of the gameplays that I do, it doesn't take that long, about 10 minutes, maybe something like that. Mainly because the recorded video that I have is like 10 minutes. I'm kidding. It's about 40 minutes or to an hour of recording session. So I usually take whatever I get the best from that certain session and then put it into a four to five to 10 minute video. And then the, after that is actually uh, saying what my voice said. Like from time to time, I'll say like, put a, uh, I don't know, put Markiplier on the screen or put Jack on the screen or uh, PewDiePie. Yeah, I'll say those things and I'll have pictures or images or GIFs of them being on the screen or videos of them being on the screen. So, yeah. Or even I could say, okay, and have the meme of the okay pop up and be like, yeah, it's there. And that roughly takes about, again, another 20 minutes tops. And if I'm really, like, it's a really long video, like a 10 minute video, uh, probably 30 minutes tops. And then finally, the third thing I basically have to do is create an intro for the video, which I usually do the first thing I do for here. So right now, I'll quickly switch over to the gameplay, or not gameplay, but the video of me editing this video that you're watching right now. Now, as, the first, as you may have noticed, the first thing I did was actually create the intro, watch over it, if there was anything wrong, change it or not, and then add the other things that I needed. But yeah, so technically step zero is create the intro, and then going to step one, step two, and step three. And then finally step four, which is actually adding in the thing you're seeing right now at the bottom of the screen, is subtitles. I honestly love doing subtitles because it's kind of like adds more up to the quality of the video. I love doing that. So, um, yeah, honestly, I'm pretty sure no one's made it this far into the video, mainly because all my uh, analytics say that uh, people watch only 0.34 seconds on my videos. <sighs> but honestly, I don't mind. I'm here. I'm happy. You guys are awesome. Your girls are awesome. And yeah. Have the best of the rest of your day. Bye for now.